everyone welcome back and i got another mystery book haul for you today so i have three boxes right here um if i go fast enough we'll get through all three otherwise i might split it up and maybe i'll grab another one we'll do two and two or something so but first one <laughs> look at this bad boy this thing is like uh wasn't planning on being uh falling apart. I don't know if the post office did that. I doubt the guy who sent them did that. So I'm assuming the post office did. The first couple of boxes this dude sent arrived like they were like one flap open and books falling out. So I don't know how many I lost on that one, but um, started getting a little better and then started getting lazy again. I said Paul Anderson right on the top. All right, here's, here's first look. <laughs> oh, I see a Doris Pasertia too, nice. All right. Oh, they're, they're flat this way on the top and then the rest are up and down. So there's the first stack I'll show you in a second and then the rest are like this. So that should be a little easier to get out of there. All right, let's look at the first one. High Crusade, Paul Anderson. I know uh, little about this one other than that um, the first edition hardcover is actually worth quite a bit. So other than that, Paul Anderson's don't go for a ton of money like on eBay and stuff. Uh, but Paul Anderson is just absolutely uh, amazing if you are into... Uh, like hard sci-fi you're gonna i think you're gonna really enjoy paul anderson um i don't know how many books he's written but pfft, it has to be more than has to be more than 50 so which probably isn't saying much but it's a lot i've never seen this before the men of the jungle norman spinrad wow it's a cool cover you know what I found from this this guy is I get I end up with a lot of UK prints so um, I don't know maybe some of these will be UKs that is why I've not seen them before but um, no it's a US one but that's uh, kind of neat uh oh well, we're start oh no we're starting off oh it's a Jack Vance and a Moorcock squished together. gonna start tearing let me try the top oh that's bad <laughs> starting off strong well, there's one bummer it's not like it was in perfect shape anyway but still a bummer the inside's fine that's nice. All right, and let's try and separate this. What is this one on top? George Louis Borg Borges, Dr. Brody's Report. Oh, oh boy, this one's on there good. You know what? I'm gonna try the, um, I'm gonna try the hairdryer thing and see if I can get that to come off better with the hairdryer. All right. Oh, great. This whole box is gonna be like that. Hi, 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 chihuahua. Yep. Paul Anderson, War of the Wingmen, Marooned on a Lethal Planet. That looks freaking cool, though. Clarion, an anthology of speculative fiction and criticism from the Clarion Writers Workshop. So Delaney, Ellison, Damon Knight, Fritz Lieber, Frederick Pohl, Joanna Russ, Kate Wilhelm, and introducing some others. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that one before. 
That's a cool one. Unfortunately, these have these they have the uh, speckling on them. This one it already is like that. So um, I would like to salvage War of the War of the Wingmen though. So that looks pretty cool. And this was a lay bracket on both sides. Oh, that one. That was better. Okay. So that Paul Anderson. That's a cool one I don't have. War of the Wingmen, Marooned on a Lethal Planet. That looks. That one looks good. That one I might read. Uh, here's the lay bracket one, at least that cover. So, so far, we're getting some. And I don't think it's from. Yeah, the rest aren't like that. So, I don't know if it's from. Um, Mele oh, there's one, but oh, it's not too, too bad. There's another one. Never mind. There's a couple more like that. I don't think it's from leaving them in the box. There's no real reason why that would do that. It's in a cool area down here. It's not hot. It's not um, damp or anything. So here's another one. Uh, the Peregrine, Paul Anderson. So I have a lot of Paul Anderson already. Bruh. ASMR? Peregrine and CT. Oh, so this is, oh, that's cool. So it's both in one. So CT ship and CT shock in one volume. <clears throat> so I, I don't think I have this one. I have each and each of those individual ones. Jack Williamson. I haven't read Jack Williamson yet. Well, I actually have. I've read some short stories, but I haven't read a full um, novel by Williamson yet, but I have a few that I, I've kind of looked at that I've wanted to. Uh, John Philophant, Hierarchies. Crazy cool cover. I like that one. I think that's the matching DAW cover as well. And then Mr. Justice, Doris Pesertia. Ooh, that looks cool. We're the were those strange episodes of Retribution the work of a time-traveling man of honor or a power-mad Avenger? Looks like a superhero kind of thing or something. I've heard Doris Pesertia is very, um, like, kind of wacky, wild, weird stuff. Weird, Some weird, wacky, wild stuff. Um, that's only for people who are over the age of 50. Um, A.E. Von Vaught, The War Against the Roll. Cool cover. I guess over the age of 40, because I'm not 50 yet, but. Uh, Tower of Zenid, El Sprague de Camp. All right, let's grab another. Hopefully I won't need that knife to be working on these again. All right, this one's all torn up too, and Ox, Piers Anthony, <clears throat> uh, Andre Norton, The Beast, Master, with the same thing, probably had a book stuck to it, got torn and thrown in here, um, text is okay, but Bob Hoskins, The Future Now, definitely ruins the collectible value of some of these. Uh, this one's cool copy. New copy I haven't seen before. Uh, the Body Snatchers, Jack Finney. So that's first time I've seen that cover. I have one that I really like, so I'll probably pass this one along. Unless this happens to be some crazy rare uh, copy. It is a first print Dell edition, 1967, but it's a new Dell edition. Okay, so, um, so 67, so it's a later print of a of a redone Dell uh, cover and stuff like that. Some good titles here though. Soldier Ass Not, Gordon Dixon. Very well known one by Dixon. Uh, Mission of Gravity, Hal Clement. This is probably his most well known title. Um, oh, okay. I have this one already and. Um, I saved this one for myself, um, and so I will pass this one along, but it is The Disciples of Cthulhu, and this has some good titles in it. 
uh, good authors in it, excuse me. Um, so it has nine original Lovecraft mythos stories, and it is uh, Robert introduction by Robert Block, Brian Lumley, um, James Wade, who I don't know, uh, Ramsey Campbell, Lynn Carter, Fritz Lieber, and a couple others that I'm not familiar with, but um, some good good authors in there. And probably has a great illustration. Yeah. These usually have a really cool illustration in them. Oops, my bad. So, and this one's in okay shape. It's not terrible. It's not perfect, but has some creasing on the spine and the front cover. And but the edges are pretty, pretty decent. See that light discoloration on there? That, I kind of have to point that stuff out. I don't know if that's also called foxing, but usually foxing is the kind of the light brown stains that are caused from dust. And I'm not sure if that that's the same, like a, it's also foxing, but you know, a different type or different way that it's made. I don't know, but <clears throat> I usually just say it's a like a light discoloration or something. So Doc Savage Escape from Loki. I just actually put one of these on eBay because uh, it was the first time I've seen it. And it's, uh, well, I'm trying to remember, but it's somewhere like 25, 30 bucks or something like that, depending on the condition. And this one's decent. So cover is clean. Spine has some slight creasing to it and a, and a slight bow to it, but a little bit of a lean as well. This stuff usually doesn't matter too much. It's more, how does the cover look? How does the spine look? How are, how is it condition wise, like held to the binding still? And this one's tight. And so, so that's probably gonna go back up on eBay unless somebody actually is like, hey, I really want that one. I've been looking for it and well, you just let me know. So Bill Pronzini, Masks. A Novel of Terror. Ooh, this looks good. This looks like a nice vintage horror copy. M.K. Cooper, Private Lies. And it's in good shape. There's a little bit of tape on the bottom, but good enough for my liking. So I'll have to look and see where that one fits in. Murder in Trinidad, John Vandercook. Mm, mystery, crime, thriller type thing. Huh, Return to Doomstar, Richard Myers, with a cat girl on the cover. And it's all embossed. Not one that I've heard of before. But it's Return to Doomstar. So there's got to be Doomstar 1. Um, the Dashau Trilogy number two, Farfetch, Jacqueline Lichtenberg, another embossed, you know, cover there. Not one that I've heard of either. Uh, Harlan Ellison, the other glass teat with a picture of the man himself on the back. I have not seen this before. I have found the first one, the glass teeth, a couple times. And I'm guessing that's referring to like television or media or something like that. The Priestess, Frank Loria, author of Communion. The Other Human Race, the startling new novel about man versus a super intelligent race of alien beings by H. Beam Piper, the author of Little Fuzzy. Uh, so I have a bunch of the Little Fuzzy novels. Uh, and then on the back it says, Are Fuzzies People? Uh, I've never seen this one before. Um, I, I think I just took all my H. Beam Pipers and I think put them into the circulation of selling. Uh, cause I had a bunch of them and, um, but I don't have that one. So I don't know if I'll 
I'll pass that along or what. JG Ballard, Vermilion Sands. A Ballard I definitely do not have. That is cool. Unfortunately, it has all this damage on the front there because it looks like it was stuck to this one, which is stuck to another one. Oh boy, this is not going to end today, is it? <clears throat> and this is stuck together but was put in there like that. So not only is it mashed up, but it is it was crammed in there. So I'm going to bother right now. The Star Fox by Paul Anderson and The Immortals by James Gunn, which I believe is James Gunn's most well-known novel. So I'm going to try the hairdryer trick on that one. Um, all right. I'm a little bummed that all these are stuck together. Moving like a turtle. Uh, A.E. Von Vaught, The Mind Cage. It's a pretty um, well-known one by Van Vaught as well. To the Lights of Heaven from the Flames of Hell, Evelyn H. Pennington. Uh, probably uh, just a story of her conversion. Would be my guess. New Dimensions 11. Or 2. I had this problem last time. Is that 2 or an 11? It looks like an 11 to me. Second guessed myself after I put it on there and then was like mid selling it and I was like, wait, is that a 2? I don't know. It might be a 2. Um, Silverberg. Swanwick. And nobody else I know. It. I went to pick this one up and it's stuck together. So, are you going to come off easy? Dang, man. Alright, well, it's Arthur C. Clarke, and this one also was smashed in there, stuck together, so it folded the whole thing. Arthur C. Clarke, Tales from the White Heart, Nine Tomorrows, Isaac Asimov. I'll do the thing on that one too. Bob Shaw, Tomorrow Lies in Ambush. This is a rough, this, these are in rough, all of these are in like rough shape. This one's just, just mashed. This box isn't gonna, uh, this box isn't gonna make its value very well, I don't think, unless we find some banger in here. Uh, SF12, Judith Merrill has Fritz Lieber, Samuel Delaney, John Updike, J.G. Ballard, R.A. Lafferty. Um, let's see who else, maybe. Oh, that's small print. Um, Bob Shaw. Thomas Dish. Hey, that one, that redeemed this whole book. Uh, Brian Aldiss. Dish is one of my favorite authors who I've just been absolutely loving everything by Dish. And um, so I will probably keep this to read the Dish story at least, if not some others. Um and uh, I don't think Dish doesn't get a lot of uh, attention. And I think he should, for sure. A phenomenal writer. Another copy of The Body Snatchers by Jack Benny. Same cover. So definitely passing one of those along, at least. Um, I don't think I'll keep that over my cover. I like the cover I have. So, All right. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. These are all stained up and gross. All right. Sixth annual The Best SF. So same one edited by Judith Merrill as the number 12 one I just had. Um, just later edition. Or a, uh, like a later year, I mean. Um, uh, wow. This one's much bigger print. Okay. Uh, Arthur C. Clarke. Shel Silverstein. Wow. Not one I see there very often. John Brunner. Lester Del Rey. Henry Slezer. Christopher Anvil, Isaac Asimov, uh, Frederick Brown, Bradbury, Brian Aldiss again, Theodore Cogswell, Gordon Dixon, uh, Judith Merrill, Anthony Boucher. So there's uh, quite a few in this one. Jeez. It's a great little one. I'll set that with the other one there. Uh, the Worlds of Science Fiction. Wow. 
Robert Mills, and there's some there's some names there. And we're getting a little bit of redeeming quality here. Uh, James Blish, Bradbury, Walter Miller Jr., Heinlein, Damon Knight, Theodore Sturgeon, Paul Anderson, Abram Davidson, Anthony Boucher, Isaac Asimov, Alfred Bester. Wow. It's a good little lineup too. Jeez. So add that to that pile. Um, I actually just added this to a whatnot show. Um, an old friend of the family, Fred Saberhagen. Decent shape. Uh, he has a lot of those. Oh, I said decent shape, and then I noticed the top had some staining on it. Um, oh, and the side. So he uh, has a lot of... Uh, yeah, so if you can see, these pages are like lightly stained around the edges. It's not terrible. It doesn't go into the text, but you can see where maybe somebody's coffee like was sitting like this or something. They knocked over their coffee and it went... And uh, just soaked it up a little bit or something. That's my guess. I don't know. It could be anything, but just something like that. Yeah. These bottom pages are stained up as well. Anyways, it doesn't, you can still read it, but it doesn't hold the value as much. Uh, anyways, he has a bunch of those, um, like, uh, Dracula novels. Uh, Preferred Risk, Edison McCain. Not familiar with Edison McCain. I guess this is a like a probably an early sixties earlier earlier than sixties writer would be my guess. Who yeah copyright fifty five, but this is a first Dell print in sixty two, so it's probably a pre pre sixties writer that I'm just not familiar with. Uh, Satan's World by Paul Anderson. I actually have another copy of this that I like better. Um, I've never read the premise or the the what it's about here. Let me do that. Cast off from its fellow bits of... Con um, try that again. Star Wanderer. Cast off from its fellow bits of condensing matter at the birth of the galaxy. The planet had never known a mother star. For all of time, it swung free in the vastness of interstellar space. Now mere chance was bringing it close to the star Beta Crucis. A chance so improbable that the odds against the meeting were almost incalculable. And as it drifted into the sphere of men, the secrets of wanderer were the secrets of the wanderer were valuable enough to unleash forces that aimed for nothing less than total control of the universe. I still don't know what it's about. Okay. <laughs> uh, nine challenging science fiction adventures by the best-selling author of Dune, the worlds of Frank Herbert and actually this is in seems to be pretty good shape so I have not come across this before I'm not gonna get have some light staining on the inside unfortunately like this I'm gonna guess this doesn't hold a ton of value but this is one that I would look up and see because it's rare to me I haven't I haven't come across it so Space Opera by Brian Aldiss. Stories by science fiction's greatest swashbucklers, including Bradbury, Van Bott, Dick, and Asimov. Oh, so, short story collection, I guess, that I have not seen. Uh, has Robert Sheckley, Daniel Galui, uh, Thomas Scorcia, Philip K. Dick, Lay Brackett, Ray Bradbury, Jack Vance, geez, A.E. Von Vaught, Asimov, uh, Randall Garrett. That's in decent shape, page-wise. Has some light. Yeah, has some discolorations on the outside. It's a little worn. Has a little torn-off piece that somebody colored in. It actually looks like a meteor or an asteroid or something flying through there. Uh, so... Oh my. So, stuck to another book apparently and just ripped apart. So, Martian Chronicles with, I know some people like this ephemera. You know, maybe you can sell that on eBay or something. Um, so, unfortunately, trashed. 
I have a copy of Martian Chronicles, so it's not even worth like really keeping to read or anything because I have one. Um, I may, some of the stuff I debate, like do, do people actually, like would somebody really want, um, want it just to read? And I, I'll sometimes throw them on whatnot, like here, a dollar, because it's, a dollar is like the lowest you can do. Um, so I don't know, I may do that. I may just present a pile of like damaged ones and say, Any, anybody want these? Um, William Chester, One Against Wilderness, Daw. I do have this one already. I'm not collecting Daws, only select Daws, not for the purpose of having Daws, but for the book itself. Um, so I do have this one available now in two copies, and it is number 228. So, uh, The Sweet of Taste Burning, Paul Andriota, Andriota. And it is um, completely taped on the cover. And probably come. Oh, I was going to say it's separated right there, but that's not separation. <laughs> it looked like it was separation. It's just the way that some people dog ear their pages. I don't know why on earth <clears throat> you would fold two pages in half like that to save your space. I mean, maybe in an origami instruction manual, you might want to do that, but um, not a book. What's wrong with you people? Um, and I can see right through the spine. So this clearly split right where those two pages were folded like that, which caused the book to split in half. So um, this may have the ability to have some value even damage. I don't know. Sometimes they do. I may take the tape off if it does. Reset those pages and um, apply some glue and a nice, actual nice piece of tape. Otherwise, that's probably going to go in the garbage. Um, the People Exchange, Robert Bayless. I actually would like to learn more. Uh, just sharing my thoughts. I'd actually like to learn how to repair books like fully. I think that would be a cool thing to be into. And uh, I, I would enjoy that. All right. Ooh, this one's in good shape. Uh, it just looks like a newer print. That looks like a Frazetta. It is a Frazetta. Robert Howard, Swords Against Darkness. It is too shiny to be old. Volume one. Okay, so looks like it's a compilation of people. Uh huh. So Robert Howard, Paul Anderson, Manly Wade Wellman, David Drake, Ramsey Campbell. That's cool. Man, I love finding like horror guys mixed in with sci fi and sci fi mixed in with horror, like in compilations. Like I'm used to seeing Ramsey Campbell in horror, not sci fi. So um, that's. I love that. It's always fun. Well, this is a cool looking cover. Wow. Kirik fights the demon world, Gardner Fox, in the tradition of Conan. And that is a great cover. It is a Ken Barr cover. Very cool. I'm not like a cover master. I read it right there. Just, it's really light. So, just so you know. <laughs> like, dang, he knows his covers. No, I do not know my covers. Um, first edition, very cool. So that is that is a great looking cover. I absolutely love that cover, and it sounds like a great book. Mightiest warrior who ever lived, battling the forces of darkness. You forgot about this guy. <sighs> Make that claim. All right, Robert Howard, Black Vulmia's Vengeance. Okay, we're getting into some good... I like the Conan books or Conan style. Probably why I'm vintage Viking. Part of the reason. The real reason is... I. So I grew up thinking I was Italian Portuguese. My mom always told me, you are, you are on, on her side... You know, like half and half. You're Italian Portuguese, 
My dad never knew his real dad, so we had no clue what my dad's side was. And my dad looks like Mexican. So we thought, okay, some sort of Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, something like that. And then people would always go, man, you look like Roman. I'd get, hey, you look Arabic sometimes. I, I got a lot of different stuff. Uh, but uh, I did a DNA test finally because I wanted to know because my dad, I never knew what my dad's side was. Turns out uh, we are from uh, like, basically my dad's side completely is from Norway. Uh, and like, like two generations back, not, not even far back. No, three generations back. Sorry. Um, and, uh, and then the rest of my, my, uh, descent was from Northern England. <laughs> so it's like, and then like sprinkling in of like Ireland and, you know, stuff like that with zero, with zero Italian, zero Portuguese, zero like Spain or Spanish descent or anything like that. So, full-on Viking heritage. Um, so, uh, so I like Viking stuff anyway, so. TMI? Okay. Circus World. Very long year. I've done this about three times trying to get the name right. Um, I have this in hardcover. I've never really heard much about this, and I'd be interested to know more about it, but um, I do have this in hardcover that I found and I kept because it looked really cool and I wanted to hang on to it and thought it might be a fun read at some point. Not on my, It's not on the top of my list to read. The World Grabber, Grabbers, I actually have a copy of this. I don't know if it has any value, but I picked up a copy out of another box set, so... Uh, it's one that I need to check. The other one I have is like wrapped in pla uh, like nice plastic bag. Watchdog, Faith Sullivan, a novel of occult horror. Whoa, that is a trippy cover. Dang. Brian Aldis, who can replace a man? Why does this look so familiar? Where did I hear about this before? I don't remember, but I do remember seeing that cover somewhere. He is the last man on earth. His only weapon in a world of robots is his human voice. Trip. Speaking of last man on earth, I finally read I Am Legend and I freaking loved it. It was so good. Okay. Uh, the Living End, Stanley Elkin. Wow. A Triptych by Stanley Elkin. Okay. Stanley Elkin takes you to heaven and hell and Minneapolis. A divine comedy. <clears throat> And Minneapolis. Ooh, this looks like something right up my alley. Oh, the dogs, Robert Calder. I have on my uh, upcoming list to read the pack. Um, I do like, I don't know why I like these so much. Maybe because of Cujo when I was, oh, speaking of dogs, <laughs> I have this already, so I will pass this along. From the Gates of Hell and Ancient Evil Returns, The Accursed. This is uh, definitely Resident Evil looking dogs there. Let's see if I can get that close up. I mean, there's some detail there. It's pretty freaking good. This is a cool cover. GS Burdick. I don't know value on that one. I don't remember if I ever looked it up or not, but. All right, well, we are moving along. Swords Against Darkness 4. Another Andrew Offit uh, with a lot of great authors in there as well. It looks like some more Paul Anderson and Manly Wade Wellman. And yeah, Brian Lumley, Woo. Tanith Lee, Charles Saunders, Charles DeLint, Orson Scott Card throwing his hat in the ring. Great cover.
no author or no illustrator uh, credit there on that one that I can see. It is a zebra books, so a zebra fantasy adventure. That's very cool. Great, even the back cover. That's all around good one. <clears throat> Robert Howard again. More collection. Oh, this is this is a uh, uh, fifteen stories by Robert Howard. So not a not a compilation. So it's 15 stories from Robert Howard with an introduction by August Derleth. Um, this might be of some value too. This is kind of cool. I like guessing, seeing what's of value, what's not. And then being pleasantly surprised or saddened. And speaking of Killer Pack, I just said I have this on my list to read. Look at that. Uh, this one might actually be in better shape than mine. I don't know. I got this a long time ago from a book pilled auction, which are sadly not happening anymore. <clears throat> Herman Wook, Wook, Wauk. Well, I don't know. A chilling novel of man's first meeting with alien beings, the Lamakomi Papers. The Lamakomi Papers. Oh, this dusty. Ooh, best stories of H.G. Wells. That's very cool. I don't have. Well, I have a hardcover, um, complete stories of H.G. Wells, but not this. And uh, we have some separation issue. Yep. It is a nice chunk to fix there so and my minimal knowledge of fixing books that should be not a problem to uh fix up so it's just a matter of getting it lined back up right so i will maybe try to repair that i got a pile of repair stuff over there if anybody knows where i can learn how to be a book repairman let me know I think that'd be so fun. Um, other than YouTube. Uh, la, 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 la. Copperhead, James Henderson. Kind of cool. It's like a murder mystery stuff. Ooh. I do not have this one. Not in this copy or cover. H.G. Wells, Food of the Gods. Seems to be in good shape. Doesn't feel like there's any separation going on, so that's good. <clears throat> Robert Silverberg's New Dimensions 3, uh, Boob Alert. And this has, I think, some great ones. Silverberg, Le Guin, Damon Knight, Terry Carr, Tip Tree, Lafferty, Mouseberg, Busby, Eklund, and De Soir. Yeah, there's some great ones in there. That's really cool. I don't know which ones of those I have or don't have. I don't remember. Alpha 2, edited by Silverberg. And Silverberg did some editing. All right. <clears throat> Silverberg, Paul Anderson, Algis Budris, Philip K. Dick, Hornbluth. Jack Vance, Cordwainer Smith, J.G. Ballard. <laughs> Some serious heavy hitters there. Wow. Budris, Dick, Cornbluth, and Vance, and Smith, Cordwainer Smith, all like in a row there pretty much. That's, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Uh, Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I have a, just a ton of different Sherlock Holmes stuff. A lot of different Sherlock Holmes stuff, completed collections and things like that. Mandrill, Richard Gardner, chilling novel of man's spaceborne origins. The weirdest people in the world, C.B. Colby. I have a lot of C.B. Colby stuff. A uh, thousand headed man, Doc Savage. Wow, that's a trippy looking cover. I don't know a ton about Doc Savage other than I have a bunch of Doc Savage. 
Fantomas, classic mystery starring France's evil genius of crime. The French Penguin. James Hall, under cover of daylight. <clears throat> We're down to the fillers, apparently. This is still the first box. What the heck? Unedited right now, I'm at 55 minutes. First box. Thirst, Charles Eric Maine. The climate has gone haywire. The ultimate drought is upon them. Charter? I'm, I'm guessing that's just a, like a thriller. All right, Willard. And this is the movie edition, I believe. Yeah. I think I have this one. At, yeah, it looks like the same uh, spine right up there. I think the original can be worth some money. I don't know about the movie tie-in. The King Beyond the Gate, David, David Jemel. Fantasy. The Moth, Joy Carroll. A novel of romance and the occult. I was, I was guessing it wasn't going to be like a moth horror story because of the cover, but I was hoping be great killer moths like locusts or you know, all those ones uh battle scar battle scar battle scar battle star galactica five a few of these i just put them aside i have no idea uh if any of them are wanted or needed or good or anything solomon kane skulls on the stars by robert howard got a bunch of robert howard in here uh, the Voice of Air, Evelyn Berkman. This kind of looks cool. Mariel was caught in an enchanted household where mechanical dolls could move, speak, or shriek. Okay, that sounds cool. It's a modern gothic. That sounds good. Sounds like the movie Dolls. If you haven't seen it. Oh, here's another baboon or whatever. And the back is good on this one. So probably those two books were stuck together <laughs> and ripped into the front of this one and the back of that one. Too bad I couldn't, like, you know, piece them together. Um, the Last Place God Made, Jack Higgins, author of The Eagle Has Landed. It's a pan. And up oh, right there. True Religion Fragrance. Wow. Oh, and it's one of those ones like you open it up and you can smell it, right? Is that how it goes? No. Purple Haze Gift Set. If I wasn't completely like clogged up, I would probably be able to smell it, but... <clears throat> The Sweat of Fear. Suspense. Robert Dennett. Dennis. Morgan Swift and the Mind Master. A Child's Garden of Death. Richard Forrest. Pocket Mystery sus Suspense. And finally, The Ghost Masters, Weird Stories of Famous Writers. Pretty sure I have this one somewhere. So I'll pass that one along. Uh, that was... Uh, box one. 